Now, in this section, we'll majorly discuss on IKE phase one configurations. Like in the previous section, we have seen the complete uh, overview of the IPsec process. It goes in the five steps, and there is the IPsec security association parameters which are negotiated in the phase one. Now let's talk about phase one. Phase one is responsible for creating a secure channel between the two VPN endpoints. And, and, and we need to create some policy here. Probably we call it as the ISCAM policy, Internet Security Association, Key Management Protocol Policy. And that particular policy is going to define the authentication and the encryption algorithms which to be used. And also it defines the hashing function which is used to control the traffic between the two VPN endpoints. So that is what exactly phase one is going to do. So when we talk about phase one, phase one is going to negotiate the policy and we call it as the ISCAM policy. Now what this policy is, in this policy we need to tell what is the what is the authentication method you want to use and what is the encryption algorithm which you are going to use and what is the hashing algorithm you are going to use to control the uh, control the traffic between these two so that's what we call it as secure channels so which is going to control the connection or the between the two vpn endpoints now there are some different options supported in the ipsec in the phase one like when you talk about encryption we got some options like des 3ds and aes and when these, these are the protocols which are responsible for uh, encrypt, providing your encryption whereas defi helmi algorithm th algorithm is used to establish a secret key between the two VPN endpoints. And then we got some uh, MD hashing algorithms like MD5 and SHA, which is going to provide some data integrity. Now probably we can use question marks to find out what are the possible options. And whereas AES is much more secure than 3DS and 3DS is much more secure than TES. Now the first step here will be, we need to negotiate the ISCAM policy. Now in the phase one, we need to define the ISCAM policy and we need to ensure that whatever the authentication method or whatever the algorithms we are using on the router A has to match on both the sites in order to have a phase one successful. So if, if they do not match in that case, your, your phase one will go down automatically, your phase two also will not work. So now there are different options like the first thing we'll talk about authentication. Now, if you want to use authentication, probably there are two different methods we can use. Either we can use a pre-shared key authentication or some advanced authentication method by using external signatures, RSA signatures, but probably we'll be using pre-shared key authentication here, where we are going to configure some passwords on both the sites and, and, and it, we have to match the passwords on both the sites. If the password matches, then automatically it is going to ensure that it's going to validate the peer identity. And apart from that, we are going to use some Defi Helmi algorithm. Now Defi Helmi algorithm is uh, majorly responsible for secure Cree exchange between the two endpoints. So that's something what Defi Helmi algorithm is going to do. And then probably you know that encryption methods like DES, AES, those are the different options we can use for encryption as well. Now when it comes to configuration of the phase one, there are three major steps we have. The first step is we need to enable the IKE policies. That's what we need to say. We need to enable that ISCAM policy on the on both the routers. And then we need to define what are the different parameters you are going to use in the case of ISCAM policies and then and what is the authentication we are going to use. So if you're using pre-shared key authentication, then we need to configure some pre-shared key authentication passwords on both the sites. Let's see the in the command line what are the commands we need to we need to configure on the routers. Let's go with the first step. Now the first step we need to enable the IKE on that particular router. We need to give this command crypto iscam enable. Now if you if you don't find this command on your iOS, probably you need to upgrade your iOS. But most of the iOS versions support these things like crypto iscam enable. Now once you enable this command, it's going to create a default iSCAM policy, which is present by default. And it uses some default encryption method, default hashing algorithm, and the default Tefi Helmi group. Okay. So if you want to create your own iSCAM policy, where you want to define what authentication method to use or what hashing algorithm we need to use, then we need to define our own policies. And if you want to define your own policies, probably we need to, we need to get into the 
command line we need to say crypto iscam policy and the numbers we can define some numbers and the numbers will define the the order of the policy different policies and we can have multiple policies on the same router so we'll talk about this more like when we have multiple policies now the first thing we are going to use authentication pre-shared key which means we are going to configure some password on both the sites and for authentication they, they should use a pre-shared key on both the sites you must have the same configuration and what encryption method you want to use what is the hashing algorithm you want to use what is the defi helmi algorithm you want to use for the secret key exchange now the same thing you have to do on the router 2 as well and after that as we are using pre-shared keys we need to configure a pre-shared key where we are going to define the password will be a cisco 123 on both the sites and then we need to define the remote peer like in my scenario on the router 2 the remote peer is 15.001 and on the router 1 the remote peer is 25.002 and we can verify this by using show crypto iscam key for verifying your key and if you want to verify this iscam policy there is a command show crypto iscam policy commands so let's go to the command line and and enable these things on the routers here so i'll go to the command line uh, in the in the previous step we have already defined some interesting traffic so on the router 1 we are going to define if I say show crypto, show crypto iScamp uh, policy, so you can see the default policy here. These are default policies, but we are going to use our own policy here. So first I'm going to ensure that, that iScamp enable. So I'm going to enable this. And after that, I'm going to define crypto iScamp policy, and then we can define some priority numbers. So mostly when you have multiple poli policy implementations, probably the least, uh, the verification comes from the least. Like let's say you have some five and 10, probably five pol policy with five number will be checked before it checks the 10. So whichever the policy matches on both the sides parameters, it will go with that particular policy. So I'm going to use some 10 here. And if you use question mark, you can find the different options. We don't need to memorize, just use question mark here and it's asking what is the authentication method you want to use. Now probably uh, we are not going to use any external based signature based authentications. We are going to use just pre-shared key authentications. And then if you use question mark again, and after that it's asking you what is the encryption method I want to use. And if you, if you give question mark, probably you'll find all the possible options here. Now in my iOS, I got some three different authentication methods uh, supported. So I'm going with AES. And the next thing is, these are two different options we have. Group, Defi Helme group, which group you want to go with. I'm going with Phi. And then hashing algorithm. We got two hashing algorithms, MD5 and SHA. So these are for data integrity. Now I'm going to, I'm going to define as SHA. That's it. And if you want to define the lifetime for this policy, we can define and the default lifetime is this one, 86,400 seconds. So I'm not going to define the lifetime. I'm just go, going with the default. Now the same thing, I'll, I'll copy paste the same commands on the other side. So I'm going to enable the policy and I'm going to define the parameters what to use for IP, IKE phase one. Now once we are done with this, the next step is we need to enable the authentication. So we did, we did this first step. We enabled the IKE policy. And in the second step, we define the iScam policy with our own parameters. And the third step is we need to we need to configure the pre-shared key on, on the routers here. So go to the command line and we'll define the pre-shared key. So the command will be most of the commands, you know, most of the commands, if you, if you just want to memorize, either the command will start with iScam or in the phase two, whatever the configurations we use, they come with IPsec. So if you are going with the phase one configurations, all the command starts with uh, crypto iscam. And here we are going to define the pre-shared key here. We are going to define the key. And then I'm going to use an unencrypt unencrypted text zero. And the password is Cisco123. And then I'm going to define the address of the remote host. On the router one, the address of the remote host is 25.002. And the same thing on the router 2 as well. We are going to apply crypto 
escape a key and then we need to define the key key cisco one two three key has to match on both the sides and then the address of the peer is 15.001 so if you want to verify we can use show crypto key ice cream key we can say I can see the ice cream key what what we are using for t-shirt key and if you want to verify the policy we can say show crypto ice cream policy now right now this this router is configured with two different policies one is the default policy and then the policy 10 here so the default lifetime is 86,400 seconds and uh, then we need to ensure that these these parameters has to match on both the ends in order for the IKE phase one to be successful